We are back with another informative video. So today we will talk about rainwater harvesting. Why we do that, the benefits of rainwater harvesting and the techniques on how to do rainwater harvesting. So we all know water covers about three-fourth of our planet's surface, but only 2% is the fresh water. Yes, a larger portion of available water is polarized. About 86% of Asia's fresh water is used in agriculture and 8% by the industry and 6% for domestic purposes. India consumes 83% of fresh water for agriculture. Water plays a significant role in our lives and since it is precious uh, of a natural resource, over the past few years there has been an increase in water shortages in several parts of the world. Ideal measures must be put in place to help to reduce the high rate of water loss. With the change in climate patterns, people need to be aware of the alarming water shortage that we will face and imminent danger of severe shortage in the future. Various methods can be implemented to address the water problem in most areas. And rainwater harvesting is one of the methods that can be used for water conservation. So coming to what is water harvesting? It is a technique or strategy for collection of rainwater and storing it in the right way for future use. The water can be collected from various surfaces and platforms and stored for later use. In most cases, the water is usually collected from rooftops and other hard surfaces. So rainwater harvesting is considered a very reliable way to conserve water. This technique has been around for a very long time, practiced in ancient times as well. Over the past years, this incident, that rainwater harvesting method, the storage has grown quite popular. It plays a vital role and method in the reducing of harvesting water means utilizing every single drop to recharge the groundwater by simply directing it to the well or under the ground. Shockingly, India uses only 10-20% to 20 of its annual rainfall. When rainfall occurs, only a little of this water infiltrates and touches the groundwater aquifers. This indicates that the majority part of the rain all goes to the drain and fall into the ocean. Also, lack of adequate storage facilities demands water being let to flow down to the sea to prevent folding and breaching. Not forgetting the under-restricted use and rapidly adding numbers and depth of bore wells that impose a great threat to our country's groundwater resources. The global areas and the global threat of depleting groundwater can be best tackled by harnessing in every single drop of rainwater for artificial recharge of the water tables. So, coming to the advantages of rainwater harvesting. In both urban and rural settings, Harvesting can be done by the use of infrastructure. One of the simplest ways of storing water from the collection is storage tanks. In most cases, the harvesting water is usually reducted to storage tanks, cisterns or reservoirs. The water is usually stored for later use. The roof of buildings is the best way to harvest rainwater. There are numerous advantages in doing so. So the very first is easy to maintain. The use of rainwater harvesting provides ideal merits to any community. First and foremost, the collection offers a better and efficient utilization of energy resource. It is important because potable water is usually not renewable, thus reducing wastage. The systems used for water collection is based on a simple technique that are very easy to maintain. The overall expenses used in setting up harvesting methods are much cheaper compared to other purifying or pumping means. Also, it is maintenance is feasible on the economic front as it does not require deep pockets. The second is reducing water bills. Water that has been stored from harvesting water can be used for several non-drinking purposes as well. It will immediately reduce one's utility bills. It is ideal for both residential and commercial properties. The third is suitable for irrigation. Harvesting a 
allows the collection of large amount of water. Most of rooftops provide the necessary platform for collecting water. Rainwater is usually free from harmful chemicals, which makes it ideal for irrigation purposes. The fourth is reduced demand on groundwater. Another important advantage is that it reduces the demand for potable water. It is important especially in areas where low water levels. There are some of those significant advantages of harvesting rainwater. Now coming to the disadvantages of rainwater harvesting. Alongside in the array of advantages, this technique also proposes a set of drawbacks. The first is erratic rainfall. The volume of rainfall is tough to predict. Sometimes little, sometimes no rainfall can limit the supply of rainwater. Hence, depending on the resource alone is not possible. The second is not suitable for all areas. This technique is suitable only for the areas where that receive a plenty of rainfall. High importance, high investment. Depending on the system's size and technology level, a rainwater harvesting system may cost anywhere between $200 to $2,000. Give the huge investment cost, it may be not playback if you are being able to use a setup in case of erratic or scarce rainfall. The fourth is high maintenance. Regular maintenance cost is another drawback. These harvesting systems are prone to rodents, mosquitoes, a lake, growth, insects, lizards, and hence demand high maintenance. If ignored and maintained poorly, they can become a breeding ground for many animals and insects, ultimately inviting additional problems, obviously. The fifth one is storage limits. The collection facilities may impose some kind of restrictions of the quantity of rainwater you may be able to use. In case of heavy rainfall, the collection system may not be able to hold all the rainwater ultimately the water goes to drains or rivers. Now coming to the most important thing that is the techniques of rainwater harvesting. The collection of rainwater can be done in various methods depending on few factors. A few common methods includes the following. The very first is rain barrels. It is easiest affordable method of rainwater harvesting especially at home. It is where barrels of water tanks installed below the dump ponds of rooftops, guttering systems. The water is then funneled and directed into the tanks. The tank can be connected to provide backup water to your current plumbing system or it can be attached to a pipe or drip irrigation. The use for barrels or tanks is ideal since it can store significant amount of water. The second is dry system. It is similar to the barrel system, but with the dry system, a large storage of containers is used. The container is usually a few meters away from the property. The gutter is redesigned so that the water is diverted to the large storing tank. It is a quick and cheap method to implement, but has significant rewards. The fourth is wet system. It is a technique that is entirely different from the dry system. Here, the collection pipes will always have water in them. It is because they will be situated in underground. In the wet system, many collection pipes are connected to the downspouts of a building and diverted into the storage tank, which is also underground. The pipes need to be secure and well maintained to ensure there is no leakage into the soil. The last one is green roof. This method of harvesting does not need to use any storage tank. Instead of storing the water in reservoir, the water is channeled straight to the garden. The process will require installing a drainage system on a building roof straight to the backyard. It is very low maintenance method. So these are few of the standard rainwater harvesting methods which are mainly done in many households. So I hope you like this video and you gain something out of this video. We will be back with more videos. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe our channel.